Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of NHLums. And this is a hockey card appreciation channel. We uh, we love to collect them and we love to look at them and, uh, it, and we have fun doing it and I hope you do too. Uh, NHLMS stands for the initials of my kids and today I have the H here with me again. Henry, say hi Henry. Hey. And Henry is here. Uh, we are not going to open a pack today. We're going to do something a little bit different. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's nice to, uh, it's nice to get a big hit and a big autograph or a big Jersey patch or something, but every so often it's nice just to take a look at the, even the base cards you have and just really appreciate the effort that's gone in to making these cards. And sometimes some there are some cards that get made where you can appreciate more than just the value of them. And uh, that's what we want to promote here on the channel. So, oh, and by the way, my my uh, Henry was very excited when uh, I gave Luke a Jumbo Young Gun last time. And so today he picked out his own Jumbo Young Gun to have. <laughs> <laughs> you, you like it, Henry? I do. Okay, here. All right, and our card of the day today is this Alexi Ashen StarQuest Gold. This was something exciting from when I was a kid. Uh, there was a, a set called UD Choice in the late 90s that I collected, and in every pack you got two blue StarQuests that were one star. And then, uh, uh, so it was very easy to collect the whole set. And then there were two stars that were a little harder to get, and they were green. And then there were three stars that were red. And then Henry, guess what? There were gold ones that were four stars. And see, there's the four stars right there. And they're numbered. They only made a hundred of each one, and there was only 30 cards in the set. So this card, Henry, is very rare. I never actually pulled it myself, but my cousin did. And he gave it to me because he didn't really care about hockey cards. The only problem, he didn't take care of it. I don't know if you can. You see that, Henry? See that big yeah. crease oh. in the card? Yeah. I mean, I think it's still got a lot of value. But yeah, there's definitely a giant crease in it. But still, it's the only gold card I've ever even actually seen. And so it's kind of a cool card. Cool. Cool? All right. That's from, I was your, your age when I was collecting that. <laughs> All right, uh, so today what we're doing, Henry, is we're just looking at cool cards and looking at uh, some interesting things. So I got some cards here today with some interesting shots here, right? So, uh, like, for instance, this card. This is a Jonas Enrith card. Um, you know, it's... Okay, here, for instance, like, like this card right here. This is a normal picture. You know, this is a normal picture of a guy just playing. And that kind of gets boring after a while. So I like these ones. Right? What do you think he's doing there, Henry? Autographing. Yeah. Looks like he's signing something for a fan yeah. there, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, so that's something really cool that they do every once in a while, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. So let's take a look. Let's see what other cool things we got. Oh, yeah. This one's fun. Peter Forsberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Look at his hair, eh? He looks so young. This guy, this was from 1991, right? What? So this guy's a lot older now. <laughs> oh. But he was a big player when I was a fan when I was your age. And I always love this picture. He's like in a suit, <laughs> spray skating and spraying ice. That's cool. <laughs> this one I like. This is a warm up moment, right? Like, like Bertuzzi just resting on the tips of his skates, uh, getting ready to get going there. What do you think of that one? Awesome. Yeah. Let's see a nice one here. What do you think? Do you recognize these names? Mm, no. No, you don't know I recognize these I don't, names? I don't know who Todd Tuzzi is. Yeah, you don't know? He played for a variety of teams, the Red Wings a little bit, and uh, he, you might know Tyler Batuzzi, right? Yeah. Tyler Batuzzi, who plays for the Red Wings, that's his nephew. So, yeah, so it's his uncle. All right, anyway, so we got Yuri Hoodler. Uh, you know, just, uh, he used to be a Red Wing, too, and uh, greeting a fan before he gets started. <laughs> Scott Hartnell doing a stretch. Love that. <laughs> That's a good stretch for hockey. You gotta remember that, Henry, when you play hockey, okay? Do that stretch? Yeah, so you just put the stick behind you and it stretches your muscles, right? Oh, look at that. John Carlson. Have I taught you how to do that yet? It's 
stick. Yeah. We haven't done that in a while, right? I think I know how to do it. Yeah? Uh, you just get the tape, yeah. and you rip it off, and then you just wrap it around the stick. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have you do it the next time. Oh, there's another guy, Freddie Anderson. Not on Toronto anymore, but he's uh, taping his goalie sticks, eh? Mm. Yeah. Oh, this one. Um, yeah, just a cool Stanley Cup shot, right? And that was pretty awesome. I uh, love it when they're holding the Stanley Cup. <laughs> 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 that was bubble gum. <laughs> yeah. That's a cool shot, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, lo I love this one. I love these candid moments like that, right? Okay, let's see the next one. <laughs> He's just staring. Dun, 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 dun. He's gonna get you. Ah! <laughs> anyway, I, I think this is a funny looking card. Look at that one. Braden Shen. This is from an outdoor game, eh? Celebrating a goal. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Is that an NFL stadium? Um, maybe a baseball stadium. Look at this one. <laughs> you see the puck? I think that's the puck right here. Yeah, so this is back when goalies didn't have to wear a helmet and he's knocking the puck out of the air. That's a cool shot for a long time ago. This card isn't old. In the late 90s, they, they remade a whole bunch of cards. They made a set with uh, a bunch of cards like this. So, pretty cool? Yeah. <laughs> another soccer one. Yeah, another soccer one. What do you mean another one? That is... Remember when we got that soccer Oh, one? that's right. Yeah, you were here with me when we opened up the retail box of Series 2, um, Upper Deck. And uh, we got the canvas, Elias Pettersson playing soccer as well. I clearly remember that. Yeah. Yeah, that was not the first time. Yeah. Third time. Another one. <laughs> I'm playing soccer. This one connects again, too. It connects most really like to warm up with a soccer ball. Look at the hair on this guy. <laughs> yeah. Crazy hair style. Crazy hair style. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. His stick's on fire. They're saying he's a good goal scorer, right? Man of the year, Brett Hall. Look at this hockey card. <laughs> it's not even a hockey player. <laughs> it's, the, it's the old school Zamboni. <laughs> Scraping the snow off the ice. All right. Oh. 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 Matt Sanin. I'm not sure why I put this card in here, but I think, oh, I know why, because it's uh, it's on the Nordiques and, and Sakix in the background. And so this is not... Um, but a little bit before the Nordi uh, Nordiques became the Colorado Avalanche. And so we have a Sundin and a Sackick together on the same card. So that's just a cool shot. <laughs> There's Brent Hall again. I just love the hair. Look at that 80s hairstyle there. <laughs> Look at his hairstyle. <laughs> the mullet. I've never heard of this guy, Sean Antosky, but man, one of the greatest, uh, one of the greatest hairstyles ever. It would be weird if if some, if one of the players had frosted tips. <laughs> yeah, frosted tips. Yeah, that would be pretty funny. Yeah, that would be. All right, here's another little set of cards that I really like. Uh, this is called Arena Shots, right? So this is sometimes where they, they get specifically a shot of, you can see the background in the arena there. So this one looks like the Islanders, right? You can see Potvin. Uh, and the, the Islanders colors there. So this is in the, the Islanders arena. And it's a Red Wings card. Yeah, it's a Red Wings card, but they're the visiting. Yay, Aww. go Wings. Here's the opposite, look at this. Ryan Spooner, Boston. Which arena is he in? Boston. No. Pittsburgh. No. That is Joe Lewis Arena. What? <laughs> yeah, Joe Lewis Arena. You can tell the blue, the blue roof. And the, the guardrails here, the white guardrails, when you look a little closer. Uh, this is definitely a Joe Louis Arena. I have so many memories in Joe Louis Arena. I've been there. I love looking for cards. I then haven't you, been there. You have been there, actually. I have been there, but I don't remember. Yeah, you went. I took you um, in the last season of the Joe. I made sure I took you to a game uh, right before you were. It would have been like four years old, I think, or three years old, even. I, I don't remember. But I made sure I got you in one of these, in, in, the, in the Joe. I'll have to find a picture of that. So yeah, this is a cool card of the arena. If, if anyone out there has uh, hockey cards with the Joe in the background like this, I'm always interested. I'd be willing to trade you. Send me a message. 
Here's another one, Buffalo's Arena, right? You can see the Jumbotron. This is Ekblad, so that's cool. Here's another one, Nathan Bullio. This, you wouldn't recognize this, but see the ceiling there? This is one of the oldest arena in, in, the, in the league. It's uh, Madison, no, Madison Square Garden, where, what? The, where the Rangers play. It's about 100 years old. <laughs> but they keep on redoing it, and a lot of famous stuff have happened. Things have happened in there, not, not just hockey, but uh, other sports too. Oh, here's another Joe shot of Darren Helm. A little harder to tell that's the Joe, but that's the Joe. And another Buffalo one. I noticed a lot of Buffalo cards with uh, where you can see the Jumbotron. So. No, that's a Panthers. Yeah, it's the Panthers player, but he's playing in Buffalo, see? You can tell the colors oh, yeah. and the, the, the logo that there. Are you saying he's playing, he played for Buffalo? No, that's him saying that they're playing in Buffalo, right? So, uh, all right, and one more set I got. This is cool, I like this. It's um, sometimes players, when they're playing hockey and they do a nice wrist shot, look at their stick. <laughs> Marcus Naslin, look at the bend on that stick. And so I love it when they get a, uh, the, they, they snap a picture with the stick bent, right? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> the stick's breaking. <laughs> this is even rare. This, I mean, this is just a base card, a score base card of Johnny Boychuk, but look, the stick is breaking in half. Pretty cool, eh? That's an amazing shot. Here's another one, Victor Rask. With the bent stick and Jerome Aginla. Look at the flex on that. Okay, Henry. Yeah. See the flex on that. Yeah. So they make certain sticks that bend a lot like that. So pretty cool. All right. So that's interesting. Uh, another. The last few cards we're gonna look at are just wild shots where uh, in the play of the game. Okay. So they're right in the middle of the game and look, you can see the intensity. George Peros. See, he's falling on the ice. He's got the puck. Oh, this is an Azim Kadri face-off intensity. Love the, I love this angle right here, right? Because you can see the referee's puck and you can see he's just looking at it. He's like, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> he's gonna win that face-off, right? Uh, well, this one's kind of in play, but not in play, right? Another Brett Hall uh, taking a slap shot. Oh, and this is a cool angle shot. Damian Bruner from the top. We got cameras on the roof. Yeah, nice shot, eh? Yeah, that's a nice shot. Callie Arncrock falling. <laughs> look at him, look at the look on his face. Uh, that's pretty cool. Same thing, Casey Zizekas falling there. Another candid shot, stuck right in there. And ended off with a Chris Draper face-off shot. Intense. Look how low they get, eh? See, look how look how low his, his hand is, is on the stick. Putting it on the stick. Putting it on the part that should hit the puck is a bad idea. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't put your hand on the puck when it's right after a face-off, but like, look how low it is. Like, he's pretty close to that, eh? So, all right, so that is our episode. I think, um, let's see, what was the coolest card that we saw in here? Um, the stick on fire one, maybe? Or, or this one. The... <laughs> I think it was the Bergeron cup winners. Oh, you liked the cup one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so a picture with the Stanley Cup. Maybe we'll do some more of that next time. All right, well, that is our episode for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this style of cards where it's uh, just looking at cool pictures of cards, I have a lot more. Let me know in the comments if this is something you'd be interested in. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, like the channel and to support us on Patreon. And uh, Henry, time to say goodbye. Bye. See you next time.